Australian Defence Force soldiers will fly out of Darwin this week to provide training to Ukrainian troops in their ongoing battle against Russia's invasion. For more, the Deputy Prime Minister and Defence Minister Richard Miles joins us in the studio. Minister, very good morning to you and Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Michael. Great to be here. Now, what will these uh, Australian soldiers be doing over in the UK? Well, it, this is part of a, a UK-led mission, but they will be providing training around basic infantry tactics to uh, Ukrainian recruits. And, and the significance of this is that the Ukrainian army right now is really a reservist army. These are citizen soldiers. It's people who are giving up their day jobs to help fight for their country. Um, and the heart is very much there, uh, but the, the, the training that will be provided by the Australian Troops will give these um, Ukrainian soldiers the skills they need to equip them on the battlefield. It will, it will save lives um, and it will keep Ukraine in the fight, which is really important. What sort of training in particular will be offered? Oh, look, it, it, it's basic infantry training, which is what we're talking about, and we're talking about that to people whose, whose day job is not being a soldier, whose day job is, is whatever else they've been doing. This is now a citizen army that uh, is, is forming in, in Ukraine. But I think the important point to make here is that we, we've, we've really understood through the course of last year that this was evolving into a protracted conflict, that we need, we, the international community, and Australia as part of it, need to do everything we can to keep Ukraine in this fight for, uh, for the duration so that this can be resolved on Ukraine's terms. That's what really matters here. Um, and that means that we've got to be there for the long term. OK, we've got the training troops going over. We've already supplied a number of Bushmaster armoured vehicles to Ukraine. Do you foresee any further help down the track for Ukraine from the Australian government? Look, I think it's possible because, because I think we need to be there for the, for the long term. And we've been saying that all along, that we'll continue to assess this as the... Uh, uh, the conflict evolves, but but we see this as a conflict which has been evolving into a protracted long-term dispute, and and the way in which we uh, serve our national interests, given that what we really stand for is the global rules-based order, and Russia's invasion of Ukraine is such an affront to that order, um, to 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 make this. Um, conclude in the way that we would want, we've got to be there for Ukraine over the long term and that's what we intend to do.